Hello, this is Dave with Choice City Sprinklers servicing the Northern Colorado area. And today I'm going to show you how to turn on your sprinkler system and get the water from the basement out to the outside of the house and into the irrigation. So for this project, all you need is a flathead screwdriver. And uh, next we'll go outside and locate our backflow. What do you know? It's right here. So to start, uh, most of the time a backflow is going to look like this after the winter. You're going to have both of these ball valves at 45 degree angles as well as these two test cocks at 45 degree angles. That's kind of the international sign that this system has been blown out for the winter. Uh, so now we're going to turn it back on. So what you want to do first is close both of these valves and then take your flathead screwdriver and close both of these test cocks. You'll know they're closed uh, when the screwdriver is facing up and down. So it should look like that. Next we'll go into the basement and turn the water on. And we are in my basement. So to start you're going to want to find the irrigation line. Uh, to do this it's usually going to be in a utility room. You'll locate the pipe coming up out of the house from the ground. This first valve is going to be your turn on and turn off for the whole house. Following this up, we can see this valve right here. And you'll notice that this valve is facing uh, perpendicular to the uh, water line. All these other valves you can tell are on because they're going straight up and down. This one uh, is not. So make sure your drain is closed here and go ahead and charge the system. Now we'll go back outside. And here we are back outside. So to begin, turn the lower ball valve on. And then turn the second ball valve on, slowly. And now our sprinkler system is charged up. Uh, the reason that we have these two, oh, you can see there's a little drip here. Not uncommon. This test cock is not quite closed all the way. So the reason we turn this bottom valve on first is to pop the parts that are inside here closed. And then we slowly turn this one on to charge our sprinkler system out to the valves. A lot of times if people have both of these ball valves on before they turn the water on on the inside of the house, there's too much flow that's trying to flow through here and you'll get water splashing out of the top of this underneath this cap. And that's because the parts inside here can't uh, close correctly and so there's just a constant stream of water trying to flow through here. So if you're ever in a situation where you turn your sprinkler on and this is just gushing out water, I would uh, uh, follow my steps and close these two off first and then make sure the water's on inside. Open this one and then open this one. Welcome back to my living room. So while you can do this project yourself, I always recommend hiring an irrigation technician, uh, Choice City Sprinklers. We will do uh, what we just did there, but then go through the whole system from start to finish, checking every head, checking spray patterns, checking for leaks, uh, setting the controller, making sure that all the zones are turning on properly, and then looking at the drip irrigation as well. So uh, that's how you turn on your sprinkler. I'm Dave at Choice City Sprinklers, and you can visit choicecitysprinklers.com to find out more about what you can do uh, to start up your uh, sprinkler system for the summer effectively. Thanks.